All right, welcome back. This is Lesson 25, Session 2. We are developing adding tenths and hundredths fractions. We are on page 523 in our Volume 2 math book. Up here at the top, it says, Carmen has four-tenths of a dollar. Troy has 50 hundredths of a dollar. Together, what fraction of a dollar do they have? So because this says together, that tells us that we are adding. So if we have 4 tenths plus 50 one hundredths, well, we actually cannot add those two together because they do not have the same denominator. In order for us to just add them, they have to have the same denominator. So in this case, you have two options. The first one is, is you can turn four tenths into hundredths. So by doing that, you would do four tenths is equal to what with a hundred on the bottom. And we learned in our last lesson that you can multiply 10 times 10. And whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do the top. So then we can see that it's 40 one hundredths. So we will add, then we will add 40 one hundredths plus 50 one hundredths equals, now that we have the same denominator, 40 plus 50 is 90 one hundredths. Another way that you can do this is you can still use um, those boxes where you have the 10 and you can show that there's one, two, three, four shaded and then you can use your one that has um, 50 hundredths, which is half. So 4 tenths plus 50 one hundredths. Well, we know from equivalent fractions that this would actually be worth 40 one hundredths, and you can still get to that 90 one hundredths of a dollar. Okay, let's turn to page 524. Explore different ways to understand how to add fractions with denominators of 10 and 100. So we're working with the same problem here. And if we look at this, we know that 4 tenths of a dollar, it's almost, um, tenths is like we're using dimes, okay, when we see that tenths. And if we're using dimes, that means that there's four of them. One, two, three, four. So we have 40 cents in dimes. Well, 50 hundredths of a dollar is also five dimes because if we know that there's 10 dimes in a dollar, half of that would be five. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So together they have nine dimes, which is 40 cents plus 50 cents, which equals 90 cents. You can also use a model. So down here, they started with the pink and they used the 100. Then they added the blue and it leaves one strip. So that means that it's 90 one hundredths. Let's go ahead and go to page 525. Okay, this right here is the same thing as what we did, so you do not have to do page 525. Let's go ahead and turn to page 526. All right, on 526 it says, Giselle spends seven tenths of her money on a book and ten hundredths of her money on food. What fraction of her money does she spend in all, show your work. This right here with the in all, that tells us that we're probably going to add. So we have seven tenths and ten one hundredths. So if I have seven tenths here plus ten one hundredths, they do not have the same denominator. So I have to do something to seven tenths to turn it into a hundredths. So 7 tenths, and I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by 10 and make it 70 one hundredths. 
So then I can do 70 one hundredths plus 10 one hundredths, which equals 80 one hundredths. So our answer is 80 one hundredths. Okay, down here, show how to add 4 tenths in 19 one hundredths. It's the same thing as up here. 4 tenths, the two have different denominators, so I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by 10. 10 times 10 is 100, 4 times 10 is 40. Now I can add them. 40 one hundredths plus 19 one hundredths. My denominator stays the same, it stays as 100. So then I just have to figure out what's 40 plus 19, which is 59. So it's 59 one hundredths. Our last one on this page. Tucker is weeding his garden. The shaded model at the right represents the fraction of the garden that Tucker has already weeded. Okay, this is what he's weeded. Tucker plans to weed five tenths more of the garden before lunch. What fraction of the garden will Tucker have weeded before lunch? So that means we're going to have five tenths plus whatever this is. We have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33 one hundredths. But we have to turn this 5 tenths into 100. So we multiply the top and the bottom by 10. And we get 50 one hundredths plus 33 one hundredths. Our denominator stays the same as 100. 50 plus 33 is excuse me, 83. This says 83 tenths, but that's not correct because we're using hundredths. So our answer is going to be B. All right, let's go ahead and move on to page 527. If you feel like you're getting the hang of this, go ahead and do 527 on your own and then come back and check your answers. If you still feel like you need more practice, then go ahead and watch along. Um, but I think you should be able to get this because we've worked with equivalent fractions. And so as long as you can remember that 10 times 10 was, is 100, you should be able to get these. All right, on page 527, write 2 tenths as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100. So we're going to start by putting the denominator here of 100. So 2 tenths is equal to what? And this is where we're doing our multiplication in here. 10 times 10 is 100. 2 times 10 is 20. Fill in the blanks to show how to find the sum of 2 tenths and 10 one hundredths. Well, 2 tenths, I'm going to teach you a trick now. 2 tenths is the same thing as 20 one hundredths. You just have to add a zero to the top and the bottom. So we've got 20 one hundredths plus 10 one hundredths, which equals 30 one hundredths. What is the sum of 3 tenths and 50 one hundredths? Well, it, since we're trying to get 10 to 100, we're going to add a zero to both of those. So 30 one hundredths, because adding a zero to both of those is the same thing as multiplying them by 10. 30 one hundredths plus 50 one hundredths equals 80 one hundredths. Okay, let's turn to page 528. Mila has 100 math problems to finish this week. She finishes two tenths of the problems on Monday, so we'll shade two tenths. and 25 hundredths of the problems on Tuesday. So again, we're going to shade two. And then one, two, three, four, five. Shade the models to show the fraction of math problems that Mila finishes on Monday and Tuesday. We did that. What fraction of the math problems for the week does Mila finish on Monday and Tuesday? So, on this one, you are first going to take a look at Monday. And on Monday, 
you can see that it's two rows. So that is two tenths or, it's two tenths or 20 hundredths because two tenths is equivalent to 20 hundredths. On Tuesday, it's 25 hundredths. So we're going to take 21 hundredths plus 25 one hundredths and get 45 one hundredths. Look at problem five. Is the sum you found greater than or less than one half? Well, is 45, what is half of 100? Half of 100 is 50 and 45 is less than 50. So it is less than one half because 45 is less than 50. Has Mila finished more than half of her math problems for the week? No, she has not completed 50 or more problems. Only 45 problems. And that is it for lesson two. For lesson three, um, I'm going to put the answer key on Google Classroom, but I think it would be a great idea for you to go through and try um, pages 529, 530, 531, and 532 on your own and see how you do on those. And if you do well, then I feel like you have a pretty good grasp of um, what we're doing with these uh, fractions. I will see you back for lesson 26.